Welcome to the Diamond Kinetics Pitching Series. In today's video, we will be going over the basics on why spin rate matters. Spin rate is the measure of how fast each pitch is spinning after it has been released. It is measured in revolutions per minute. In simpler terms, this is the measure of how many times the ball makes a complete revolution around its axis. But because we're measuring a pitch that happens in a fraction of a second with a metric that uses minutes, our output here often sits in the thousands. To give you some perspective, the average MLB fastball has an average spin rate of around 2,200 revolutions per minute, or RPM. And this number varies frequently from pitcher to pitcher. Spin rate is important to understand because it has a direct correlation with the amount of movement each pitch has. The higher the spin rate, the more movement it will have, and vice versa. But unlike other metrics, the changes to this number are not good or bad. Rather, it helps describe how each pitcher can effectively use their pitches to attack each hitter. So what does spin rate look like in the DK Pitch Tracker app? You'll find it right here. And when you take a look at this example, you will notice that this spin rate is slightly below the MLB league average on a fastball. But why does that matter? Let's imagine a situation in which we throw the exact same pitch three times in a row to the same location. The only difference between the three would be a change in their spin rates. Each pitch falls naturally due to gravity, but your spin rate determines how much. If our average fastball ends up straight down the middle, then our below average spin rate pitch would end up lower in the zone. On the flip side, a pitch with a higher than average spin rate would end up higher in the zone. This is useful because hitters are used to average pitches, so if your pitch stays higher or drops lower than what they're used to, you can use that to your advantage. Because of this, pitchers with high spin rate on their fastball should throw up in the zone, and low spin rate pitchers should throw their fastballs lower in the zone. To wrap this up, here's a chart that gives you some average spin rates by pitch type for a range of different age groups. See where you stand. If you're above average for your age group, pitch up in the zone, because that will best fool hitters to swing underneath your pitches. If you're below, pitch low in the zone. The main takeaway here is that your spin rate is a depiction of you, and with this knowledge, make sure you work your spin rate to your advantage when you're out on the mound. 